Hey guys, Jamie today on Roblox. We're playing some more Lumion Legacy, as you can see on the screen right now. I was hoping to actually get an Obsidragon. He's got one, he's almost got one. But the reason why I want to fight an Obsidragon is because a lot of people have been struggling with it. And Gastroke actually as well. So he actually has a Gastroke, so I guess this isn't we have the wrong team, I guess. But we have the Shadow Fly, so I'll bring that. He hasn't got an Obsidragon. Um and his team can actually beat my team pretty easily, so I'm gonna not bring that. So instead, I'm gonna bring this, I wanna say. Is that good? Yeah, 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 that should be good. That should be good. So, basically, people, are, pe some people are struggling with how a tanky, like, for example, Luminami. I don't think too many people are struggling with Luminami. It's... It's beatable, but also it can regen quite a bit of health, so you just gotta hit it hard, obviously. So, just be careful with that one. But, people are mostly struggling with how ta- Whoa, that did a lot of damage. A crit man. Uh, but mostly people are struggling with Obsidragon, because also it has Beast Slumber and it can set up. Which is pretty scary once it starts setting up a few times. They're struggling with Gastroke, it is very, very bulky on the range side. Um, I'm actually just gonna hit you just for a little bit of damage. Uh, but yeah, also again, Gastro can heal a lot. Also, if you're only running range attackers like Zulong, it, you're not gonna be able to KO it unless like you poison stall it. And also then there's Ventation, which Ventation is probably the easiest to KO of the of the all all of the other ones, so that one's fine. So basically, I thought I'd give some insight to what I would recommend you run if you are going to be using or if you're going to be battling against a lot of them. If you're struggling with Lowe's 3 in specific, also like I said there is Luminami, there's Himber, there's um, Wiki Wiki is technically a tank, I guess there's Cracker Lower but that's probably one of the easier ones, also you just use Earth, Earth move against it, Water moves against it. And you, you'll you'll take it down, but um, I think we'll be talking about mostly the other three types. Actually, going to withdraw into the gas drug. Now that is a weird move. Also, he predicts the electric move, but I do have fire on this type in, on this Ikazune still. Um, I guess I could have acted power focus against that, that would be nice. Uh, but I'll, I'll fire burst. So obviously, if you are running an Ikazune and your opponent has an Obsidragon, they're probably going to use the Obsidragon because Ikazune cannot touch um, Obsidragon. It just does, it does like at least a minimum like 10% damage. And, well... It does, it does at most like 15% damage, so honestly, you're not going to take it down with Obsidragon. So, if your team is really, really weak to Obsidragon, Gastroke, and Ventation, like I said, Ventation is pretty easy to take down. We just need like electric moves or plant moves. Pretty easy. It'll go down eventually. Its range side is very, very weak. So, stuff like Osler, Tatab. Right now, people are running as a mixed attacker, so, or a yeah, mix attacker, so they have Nature's Fault and Life Drain, which is really, really good. Um, Along with that, we have Zulong, but again, you, I guess you got to be careful, but Ventation doesn't really do too much damage to it. Or you have Ikazune, again below, be careful with Ikazune, because it is four times weak to water. So, basically it for Ventation, probably the easiest, like I said, to take down, but I thought I'd mention it. Um, I'm actually just going to go for Electro Burst, you might go for Gusts. No, it just nose dive. That's fine. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but I can take one hit because it's resisted. I think. Um, okay, so next up, talk about Gastroke. So, like I said, Gastroke. It ca it can wall. It like Zulong doesn't do any damage to Gastroke. Ikazune doesn't unless you have like a fire move, obviously. So still gotta be careful about that. Um, other than that, also, it just basically tanks every single range type attack, so Ventation is also a bad idea for it. If you have a Terrafly on your team for Poison Barbs, po Terrafly can actually 1v1 Gastroke with um, its also its bu uh, bug type moves. Especially with, like these, also you can trap it in and then you can just parasitize it. That's a pretty good tactic, I guess, if you're in it, so uh, 
I, I guess that's a good thing to run Terrafly. Also, you can run Aeat Set, which he's actually running Muck Book, and he trains it all into Special Attack, but they're probably not going to swap in a Gastroke on your Terrafly. If anything, they, they want to swap it out, so technically that is a good option for you, I guess, if you want to run it how Aeat runs it. It actually is a pretty good set to run right now. I'm actually going to run to Ventation. I don't really need the Ventation in this. So yeah, I kind of want to keep my, um, I, I want to keep my Ikazune for the, or what you may call it, I forgot what it's called. Zero Knight, that's, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, oh, on that low, I think the best thing is also to take it down. Zero Knight, still really, really good. Also, every fire type, but right now there also are a lot of mixed, like, um, like special attack and fire attacks, which might take a couple of hits to actually take it down still because of how tanky it is, kind of like a blister 2.0 if you want to like give, let me give it something that um, it's similar against, just not as not as much health as a blister, obviously. Actually, oh no, that's still going to hit me. No, why do you have storm summon, man? Why? Along that low, like I said, air fire type. Erupted on is really, really good because you can run it as a mix attacker, which I am actually doing mine. Mine has lava splash, fire breath. Muspa and it has power focus to set up on it. All on that low, still a really, 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 re really good Lumion in the game right now are still the rats. Yes, the rats. I don't think I brought one with me. I have one in my party, which I'm actually using Luxor right now, which we'll talk about Luxor in a second. But if you are struggling with Gastroke, Umbrat is still your is your best choice, believe it or not. If you have a secret ability Umbra, also plant is weak to dark, it resists light. So yes, Umbra is still a really, really good choice to take down Umbra. It's not that good to take down Obsidragon, which like I said, that's basically for gas joke. Like they've got quite a few things, just hit it physically and it'll go down eventually. Also you can hit it super effective, even better. Um, again, Avatross is a really good choice for Gastroke as well, if you're struggling with it like that. And also you can get rid of Barbs if, you're, if they're using Barbs on you as well. So, basically for Gastroke, just hit it physically. There are, and also there are a few options they can use to hit it even harder um, than other things. But Umbra is probably the best thing to actually take it down, in my opinion. All on that, I guess next up is Obsidragon which is stupidly tanking can actually heal up quite a bit as well. Obviously, Zulon can beat it, but you have to be very, very careful. Obsidigon can one-hit KO Zulong. Obviously, Zulong's going to go first, but it's a matter of that. How are we going to get Zulong out? Obviously, if, they're, if you predict them to set up, like, power focus, then sure, go for it. But again, if they have scapegoat up, you have to hit them twice, and they only have to hit you once, so again, you have to be very, very careful. Zulong can tank a hit if Obsidigon isn't trained in attack and has very, very low UPs in attack. So again, gotta be careful, really, because Obsidigon can just set up a scapegoat, and that means Zulong can't take it down now. You have to break, the, uh, break that first. So usually, you want to wait until it's like asleep, or it puts itself to sleep, but still gotta be careful because... Um, it, if it wakes up on the turn that you swap in, you're probably gonna die. So, yeah, be very careful with that still. Other than that, again, your best bet to actually take down. Luminami is very, very good. That's not gonna kill me, actually, which is surprising. I'm actually really surprised. But Luminami can actually take it down. It also, it's a tank itself. You can set up on it if you really wanted it to. But as a light type, can hit it very, very hard. Other than that, we have, I'm actually trying to think actually what else we have for it. Ikazune is the worst, is like one of the worst movies to use against it. I wouldn't recommend using um, an Ikazune if your opponent has that, they're just going to use that setup fodder. Other than that low, I would definitely say the best Lumion to take down Obsidigon is the other rat, Luxor, especially if you have the secret ability. It hits stupidly hard. Both of them hit really, really hard still. Even even with these tanks, I would say Umbra and Luxor, even though they are really, really good, even if they weren't good in the game, though, 
I would still say that they're really, really good just for the tank, the tank meta game. I guess technically we have right now. So also, Umbra, really, really good. It can do a ton of damage to Luminami, Gastroke, Wiki Wiki. So that's good. It's not really going to do too much to the other tanks, really, like Ventation. It can probably put a dent in them, but it's they can heal it up and also you're going to take a lot of recoil damage on your Umbra. Also for Luxor, Obsidugon is going to beat that. It's not really going to do too much to Luminami, unfortunately. It's not going to do much to Gastroke, unfortunately, because also they both resist it. It's not going to do anything Wiki Wiki either. So yeah, Lux right now I still say Umbra is like technically the better one of both of them, just for the fact that on um, what it can hit. But I definitely would say that Luxor still has its usages, or its usage at least, with taking down Obsidigon. A lot of people like using Obsidigon because it's a dragon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely would recommend you to run a Luxor or an Umbra, or both, if you're really, really struggling with the tanks. Also, there are going to be like, more things to take them down in the future, so you don't have to really worry too much about that, I guess, if you are. But, obviously, just, just got to be careful on how you play your games, really. Okay, I don't know if this was a good idea. I'm, I should have probably gone for a, he a wait, but that's fine. Elemental Burst is probably going to take me down anyway. Yep, okay. So, that was fine. Just go for damage. So, all along that, I don't really know if there's anything else. I can't think of anything else to, um, to, like, take down those two tanks. There's, there probably is, just I'm forgetting them, but I would definitely say Umbra and Luxor are still super, super strong. And like I said, if you are really, 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 really struggling with um, Obsidragon and on all the tanks, it wouldn't hurt to put one of them in your team, depending on which one you're struggling with the most, obviously. I'm actually just going to swap into Ikazune. Seems like a weird choice, but he's going to die to Poison, and I don't know if he has anything else on his team, which I probably want the Zulong, if there is anything on his team. Unless it's a gas no, I took it on the gastro already, so yes, yeah, it's probably a good swap. He probably only has this spawn, but just in case he has beats me, really. So yeah, and I think that's actually the battle, is it? Heck yeah, okay, so I'll quickly show you my PC box, actually, to, um, to, like, I guess give you more inputs, because I have got, like, a few Lumions, but also, oh, actually, there was the last one in the GG. So, obviously, I have, I don't have every Lumion in the game right now, still, I'm still, like, training for stuff, but, for example, um, Avatross, really, really good at taking down Gastro. I, I guess that's it for the battle part, portion of this video. I'll quickly talk about some good Lumions to take down the tanks if you are struggling with them, obviously. So, right now, um, I guess I'll use the Lumidex as well to talk about some of the other ones. So, I guess right now in the game, if you are struggling with Obsidragon, obviously, Zulon can beat it. You can always go for a Poison Barbs, because that forces it to have to set up, which means that they can throw something out for free, basically. Luxor, I would definitely say, is probably the best thing to take down an Obsidragon. Obviously, Luminami is still really, really good. Basically, every light type is going to be good against it, um, so it could be worth using that. Other than that, low, I don't actually know if there's anything else, really. I think that's... I th honestly think there might be only those three things that can actually... Beat it. Ventation is just set fodder. It's not. It doesn't care if it gets burns because it can just put itself to sleep and get rid of the burn. Is there anything else, though? Like, also, it's weak to ancient. So I guess you could run Volca lower, but it's got really, really high physical defense, which is why all of the suggestions that I give, like to try and beat it, is to use a special attacker that is super effective, really. But I think that's actually it right now. Is um. Just those three things. Zulong, Luxor, and Luminami. So definitely would recommend one of them on your team right now. Also, the light typing is pretty good. Um, also, Ancient is weak. To, oh, no. Yeah, Ancient is actually weak to Metal as well. So, I guess... Actually, yeah, I forgot. Um, Fal Falkyrie. Falkyrie can actually beat that. I kind of forgot about Falkyrie, <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah. Falkyrie can beat it, and it does actually get physical attacks, so I guess it could try beating Gastroke, but it's probably not going to do enough damage still, to be honest, so, yep, 
I guess there's actually technically Fall. You can use it to beat it. Also, Falkyrie, I guess, typing-wise has the best typing to actually take down an Obsidian Gun because it should resist Ancient by four times, which is good. So there is that. Again, though, I think Luxor is probably just going to hit it the hardest, especially with the Secret Ability one. For Gastro, again, just physical attackers, so that includes Serenite. Very, very good. Himbro could go either way, honestly. I wouldn't really recommend it. Um... Vesperatu could try 1v1 in it, but also it can get poisoned and you can get rid of the poison unless you have a wiki wiki, so I wouldn't really recommend it. Umbra is probably one of your best to go to. Um, Avatross is really, really good at, to take it down. I guess Swalder is as well, but I don't really see people using Swalder and Terrafly to like actually be offensive. Usually there's Poison Barbs, also Terrafly. You don't really see many people in, in this one. Ragoon actually would be pretty decent at it. Just watch out for getting like paralyzed or something on all of your physical attackers. Chartika is really good. Basically every fire type is good. So Chartika, um, Eruptodon, Volcaloa. I guess Krakaloa could like try and beat it. Obsidragon can beat it. Um, Ikazuna can beat it. Gets, uh, this one probably can't unless you're in a strict physical set, but it's probably not going to do that much damage still to it. On that low, also like I said, Borok and Sedimars are actually really, really good offensive threats, but they're not really going to do too much to Gastroke, so I wouldn't really recommend those. All on that low, I guess the last one is Ventation. Oh, actually, I forgot as well. Um, Revenine and Eurosol can actually 1v1 Gastroke, but still be careful because it's probably just going to try and poison stall you as much as possible. So yeah, or oh, again, try and predict the swap, see what he goes into. I guess so the next tank really is Vintation, which people have been struggling with, which, again, you want to really just hit this thing with range attacks, but obviously got to hit pretty hard because it can heal, stall. So obviously, Tatab, probably the best one. I guess Falkyrie's like decent, decent to like fight it, but it's going to probably take a lot of damage still, so again, be careful. Um, Luxor could probably like put a dent into it, but probably not one of the best for this one. Zulong's probably one of the best ones to take this thing down with Thunder Strike. Again, Gastro can take it down if you really need that. Wiki Wiki can probably stall it. Chartiki, gotta be careful because it's a fire type as well, still low. So, yeah, Chartiki is probably like the best if you're struggling with, I guess, Char um, with Ventation and Gastro. I mean, that's like an all in one basically, but. It can't do anything to um, Obsidigon though, that's the only problem. Other than that, I mean, assuming that we don't have Gecko's Evolution, it probably would actually be decent at taking it down, but we don't have it yet. Um, Florant, I guess, could stall it decently. Other than that, though, there really isn't that much other than Ikazune. So, yeah, there's not really too much for Ventation. It's mostly just, it's mostly just like Zulong, Gastro. Chartiki or Wiki Wiki, so technically four, and then um, Ikazu Ikazune. Also, there are there are a, a few more options like Anse and stuff like that. But if I'm gonna be, I don't think many people use Anse or Florent even. Plus, it is pretty weak to uh, a lot of the typings in the game right now. So again, gotta be careful with that one, I guess. So yeah, all in that, you just kind of have to like stall them out, I guess. So I. I think right now that is probably the best thing. So in your team, I would definitely recommend out of all of these suggestions, the rats, honestly. The rats still nuke things. If, even even if it's a neutral hit, for example, um, Umbra, it can take a hit from a Zulong, but it can also like do a ton of damage to it as well. So definitely think that these two are really, really good still. I mean, they've been good since they've been released, and I think they'll still be good for a very long time until we get better dark or light types. But even when there are more light types, um, these have really, really good secret abilities, and I don't think we'll probably give something else the exact same abilities, at least for a while, at least. I feel like we don't want to give also every light or dark type the secret abilities, but for, for a while, th these are going to be really, really good, obviously. So, again... Those are like the two Lumions I would recommend the most. Obviously, you probably don't want to run both. I mean, on my team right now, 
I don't have both. I brought Luxor because my team struggles mostly with Obsidragon, obviously. You just gotta really pick out, I guess, what your team struggles with more. For example, for Gastroke, I can take it down with Ikazune, Tatab, Obsidragon. It was like my three things to take down a Gastroke, really. Gotta be careful with all of them, though, because I mean, especially Tatab, I guess, is probably the lesser one to take it down. But then also for Ventation, I have Tatab, I have Ikazune, and I have Zulong. And I still have Luxor to put a dent into it, so it really depends on what your team is. Also, I don't know what your specific team is, but if you look at them, obviously you can tell like which ones can take down what. So for example, on my team, Zulong, Ventation, and Luxor are all terrible at taking down the Gastroke, so I wouldn't also pick all three of them if there's like a Gastroke. Also, if there's a Mosidragon, I'm going to take my Luxor to, take, to beat the Obsidragon, but I gotta be careful about Okay, what has he got on his team that can actually beat Luxor? So, could be careful about that, obviously. So, on my team, I'm probably going to struggle more with Obsidigon. So, I brought the, the Luxor. So, again, it just really depends on what your specific team is. And you just got to, like, make sure that you have something to counter a couple of the tanks at the very least. So, I think I'm going to leave off there. So, I guess a weird video, but some people are really, really struggling with, Obsid with Obsidigon, Ventation, and Gastro. So, I thought I'd give you some insight. And I quickly want to say, if if you are still using Himber, I honestly wouldn't recommend it just because of all the fire types. People are using water types now, also Luminami and Ventation, Beat it. And again, like I said, plant types. So, like I said, Himber, since it is a nerf type, it is weak to plants, which it can actually hit the plant types hard, but Himber is very, very slow. So it's just a one of them's gonna die, and Himber doesn't have any great healing right now. Like, it actually has nothing to heal itself except from health amulet. Um, again, it's Earth, weak to water, and there's Ice, weak to fire. So most people are gonna run at least one or two water, fire, or plant types on their team right now. I mean, for me, I'm running. Um, Plants and fire. I don't ha actually no. I'm running plant, fire, and water, and I'm running all of them. But most people are using Gastroke, also Ventation, and then Ikazune. One of those three, are like minimum, or instead of Ikazune, any low fire type. So, really, wouldn't rec recommend using Himber anymore. If you're using Himber, I'm gonna guess that the only reason why you're using Himber is for Zulong. If you want to better counter the Zulong, Gast Gastroke's your your pick. Honestly, Gastroke is. A lot better to take down a Zulong, and it gets to set up on something that's going to come out. So I mean, if you swap in your Gastroke on a Zulong, you get to either poison something for free, unless you know it's a, unless you know that they're going to swap into a poison type. So that means you could go for a Sap Plants and just be a annoying, really. So Gastroke is really, really good for Zulong. On that, Florent, I guess, is still technically okay to use. Again, I think Gastroke probably outclasses it at least right now. Uh, I mean, Plant Bug has a little bit too many weaknesses. Type, the stats are really good on it, though. But Gastro right now, I think, kind of outclasses it a bit. Wick Wick is still really good if you don't if you don't want to use Gastro. It's just that it's a, a very very specific niche, I guess. Like it's very tanky for certain stuff, but it can't really do too much offensively. So you gotta be careful with that, I guess. And again, Cracker Lower, I guess I'll quickly talk about. Not really that great, even after the stats rebalance, it's just like fire typings probably aren't that great defensively. So probably wouldn't recommend using it. But if you want to try it, then feel free to obviously let me know how it goes. I haven't actually used one yet. I will get one eventually, but there's so much in the game that I want to use honestly right now. But I think I'll leave it off there before the video gets too long. There's a lot of people in here <laughs> just, just dancing around me. But Hopefully that gives you a little bit of tips, I guess, on how you can beat those three monsters of a tanks. And I guess actually Luminami, so technically four, but also Luminami, we've had it since the game's released, it is a little bit easier to beat. Tatab completely destroys Luminami if you wanted to run Tatab, so like I said, hopefully it helps, but again, you don't have to you don't have to take any of these tips if you don't want to. Like I said, it's your team. You use your team how you want how you want to really. That's how I would usually recommend it. Like when I'm streaming, all, people always ask me, "What's a gr hey? My I have made this team. Can you tell me what's really, really good?" Um, the best 
tip I guess I could give you on your team is if even if your team is one of the best teams in the game you are not going to win very much with it if you yourself are bad at battling so obviously if you are a bad battler you're probably going to lose most of your battles if you're a good battler you can probably win with basically anything in the game even if it is considered to be one of the worst things in the game like sort you you can you can still win with it if you know what you're doing but like I said, if you're really good at battling, you can also use whatever you want and you'll still be able to win with it. If you're really, really bad at battling, I wouldn't recommend you using the worst stuff. Also, I would still recommend, if you really like L L Lumion, like Gecklo and like Sarchip, people are still- you still- you still can use them. They're not gonna be that good, but if you really wanted to use them, you can still use them. Obviously, like Eurosol, I don't think is that great. Has a small niche, but it, can, it is still usable. It's just that like you have to be very careful with it, obviously, because there's a lot of things that can wall it. So, you can use what you want, but if you are wanting to put a team together that is really strong, because like I said, if you're a really bad battler, you usually just typically want to fill your team with the best stuff. So, starters, Ikazune, Obsidigon, like, those are like your best things to go for. Like, right now in the game, the best things to put in a team, in my opinion, are starters, Ikazune is really, really strong a lot against a lot of things, we've got to be careful. Obsidugon, Gastroke, Ventation, really, really strong, and the Rats. So you got quite a bit to pick from, so if you are struggling with it, with your team really, 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 like, super difficultly, oh, if, what am I trying to say? If you're really struggling making a team that is good, and that you're not going to lose a lot of battles, using the best stuff is also going to help you, but if you don't TP train, like, for example, my Zulong is as quick as it can be, you can get a quicker Zulong. You can tie with my Zulong, and then it'll be a 50-50 on who goes first, but you got to TP train. If you don't TP train, it's going to be a lot more difficult. And even if you do TP train, you can still lose battles. But what I would recommend is to put together a team that you want to use yourself, and then just try and learn, learn sets. Like, for example, if I throw out my Zulong, obviously you're going to think, like, usually when I'm battling, someone sends out a Zulong against me, I'm thinking, okay, what potential moves is it going to have that I have to worry about? Okay, well most people right now are running this exact set. Elemental Bursts, Thunder Strike, very hard hitting moves. Okay, now I know what I can go into to counter it. Gas Joke, Zulong doesn't do any damage to it. Literally none. So, there's that. Also, I know that I can Ancient Roar against something, so I gotta be careful. So, on Gas Joke, I'd probably go for a Poison or a Sap Plant, either for more health back, or to Poison Stall something. So, it's basically for like stuff that you gotta do. If you know what the opponent's moveset is, you can also predict them. PvP is about a lot of predict predicting people really. Like, for example, if I throw out a Tatab, you're also not gonna go into a water type because even though it doesn't have any great physical plant types right now, you know that it's gonna be like a mixed set in most situations because like, this is technically what people are running right now. Sometimes they might have Toxic Tail instead of like Dodge or something, but Toxic Tail's not really going to do that much damage, honestly. The only thing that it will do damage to, I guess, is Gastroke, which you're probably not going to send a Gastroke against this thing, because this thing is going to hit it very hard. So, if you can like just try and remember movesets on a lot of Lumions, you can also predict what they're going to do next, typically. Then also you can make a play off of that. That is mostly like my biggest tip to give people. If you're bad at battling, just use the best stuff in the game or use what you want to use in the game even if it is considered bad just learn movesets and also you can rebuild your team like okay my team is very weak to gas joke nothing can kill it okay i need a very strong physical attacker like umbrats replace with something on your team that's really all i can really say that's how i learned in pokemon I'm, and also looming Lum legacy i'm not the best battler in the game i definitely think i'm decent at least but like i said because i make all the movesets i can it's easy it's easier for like me to predict stuff because i know what they're gonna have in most situations but again some people can throw me off especially zulong with storm summon because i think it's a bad move but people are gonna use it and it doesn't go through dodge so i guess it's not the worst but thunder strike is a lot better but anyway look 
Probably it's going to extend longer, because honestly, it's really, really long now. I mean, I battled for, like, I think half of this, and I talked for non stop for the other 15 minutes. So, I'm going to leave off here. Hopefully, that gives, like, an insight, I guess, on how to build a team if you are really bad. Honestly, if you're good at battling, you can just ignore me. You know what you're doing. But if you are a newbie or a battler, which I always get asked in my streams, hey, is this team good? It doesn't matter if it is good or not. It just depends on how good of a battler you are. If you're terrible, it doesn't matter how good your team is, you're still probably going to lose most of the battles, unfortunately. It's just that like you got to practice, try and be able to predict people, and eventually you'll be decent at battling, and then you can change your team up and all that. So anyway, I'm going to leave off here. I'll see you guys next time.